Five on your health tonight, the challenge of conceiving a baby after a COVID-19 infection. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Helen Boucher, the Dean of Tufts Medical School and an infectious disease specialist at Tufts Medical Center. Good to see you, doctor. Nice to see you, Jessica. You know, we're learning today about a small study that's raising new questions for couples hoping to start a family. What did the study find? Well, as you said, it's a small study, 45 patients, and it looked at the production of sperm in men out to 100 days following mild COVID infection, and it found decrease in number and function of those sperm, which was somewhat surprising. When we're talking about the men in the study, they had mild COVID symptoms. Is there any indication that more severe symptoms could cause other problems? Well, you know, it's a good question, and we have some hints here. If we look at people who died of COVID, there is evidence in some of those individuals that there was damage to the testes where the sperm is produced. But there's a lot of room in between from mild illness until people who die from COVID, so lots more for us to learn here. Yeah, for sure. And as you know, other viruses like the flu can affect sperm count and quality as well. Any advice for couples trying to conceive learning this information and knowing that? Yeah, so very important that this is something that's seen in other infections and so that things to prevent infections like COVID are very important to be fully vaccinated, to practice good hygiene, uh, hand hygiene, keeping your distance during the winter, those types of things, all very important. And the thing to remember is that people recover from these illnesses and people go on to have very um, fertile lives and, and be able to reproduce. So not to react too much to any one particular study. Right, especially with a study like this, as we mentioned, that is new and small, a lot more to learn, as you mentioned. Absolutely, we need years to learn the full amount uh, about COVID. Thank you so much, Dr. Boucher. As always, we always appreciate your insight. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Happy 4th.